Hey, this has been a month with the T-Mobile HTC HD2. So, uh, what I've done so far uh, is I did buy the Zag Full uh, Shield from Zag.com. Um, as you can see, uh, it fits the screen pretty well, even though this shield is the European version. But as you can see in the back here, there's some minor difference in the size and which I think it's okay though because I don't really scratch the back that often so um, other than that I have um, done a little bit of modification on this uh, cell phone uh, I actually I have had this uh, lock button in different places but for this background I think it's the best up there so um, other stuff that I have have on this phone is um, the new um, the cookie tab here that gives me a few other pages to put some applications on and also uh, as you can see here I have um, a reset button here which um, actually it's from the start menu that is one of the most freaking uh, application I use is just to reset and um, is to restart your phone basically because uh, when I either message a few people at the same time using text message and or if I'm running a few application or running a, a game that have bug in it it occasionally frees up so it is the sense UI that freezes up that I've noticed and uh, which means all right here that you see doesn't even show up and then it's just the start menu works perfectly fine because it's running on Windows so all I have to do is come back on all to the bottom here and click the reset button to restart the phone and it will work perfectly fine the one thing that I do use though sometimes when I'm texting a few people at the same time I would just go back and using the Windows default instead of using the sense UI because it does freezes so as you can see if I go back to the home page it, it is a Windows Mobile 6.5 screen and it's not as laggy it's run really smoothly compared to other um, Windows Mobile and I have to say it doesn't freeze up as much as the other one and also if I figured out um, there are the original uh, bubble bubble breaker in solitaire on this phone. It's already in that uh, in your phone, but it's just not put in the uh, game folder. If you have any questions, I can uh, send you directions there, so you can go and pull that back out, and you can have fun playing with it. It is a little different playing solitaire without the stylus when I used to, but. Uh, it's okay, I guess you'll you'll get used to it. But sometimes I feel like my finger is kind of blocking the the cards itself. But um, also another thing, I found a transcriber, which it weirdly makes some noise there. But uh, you can actually write with the transcriber now, as you can see on the bottom here, which doesn't work too well. I think the screen might be all messed up, but. As you can see, hi. It reads fine and everything else, but uh, once you once you get out of there, though, once you go back to a full QWERTY keyboard, you cannot go back into trans transcriber. And uh, for new Windows Mobile users, the transcriber is uh, one one of the ways to input a. Uh, Sorry about that noise. Uh, it's to only to import uh, English by handwriting. You could write and then they'll recognize your handwriting and so you can write anything faster. I think it is much better to use with a stylus instead of your fingers so that's why I want the reason they took it out but it is still in your phone so I just want to let you know too. And um, I think that's basically uh, all the stuff that I have done to my phone. I don't think I've done anything 
more too interesting. I was about to put the uh, Facebook uh, tab on my home page, which was the HTC Sense page on, on the tag, but I don't think I need that actually because I can just go on the internet right away, so I don't need the Facebook tab. And uh, another person did ask me about uh, one of the Facebook uh, bug could be with the contacts. It's from the um, all all people, and as you see here, all my updates. It doesn't give me any birthdays or anything. And um, I think one of the reason why is hold on one second. Let me pull somebody up. As you can see here. It does have um, the recognition of the birthday from the Facebook, but then you go into edit contact. It is not in the birthday event, so I think that that um, it could be a different ROM that does that, and because um, some people did say it's showing up as a different date on the event, but I don't even have the event on my phone. So um, I'm not sure what to tell you about that, but uh, here are also a couple um, pictures I've taken from uh, yesterday. It was actually um, taken outside, uh, which looks really good, I would say, on for phone. It's better than expected for the camera. Um, I think I don't need to bring a camera around anymore. I can just use this phone and it'll be fine now because I think I've have had problems before about that because all my previous phones camera sucked so anyways so back to the phone uh, also this one a button I don't think many people found that's the uh, weather demo to switch on the uh, animation or not I don't think it's necessary sometimes, so I just turn it off, which is a good way. Um, but I sometimes also like this. Uh, this it kind of looks like iPhone app page, but it gives you a lot more apps to store, and then it's quick access. So I love it. Uh, if you want more detail, I can definitely uh, post you. I can send you a link. Or whatnot, to you can download this, and um, also one more thing is that I did download um, a modified uh, rotating screen. Um, on most, on the original HD2, you cannot uh, rotate most of the stuff uh, that's Windows Mobile based. Um, I've tried with YouTube because uh, it's you can type much easily uh, sideways but apparently it doesn't support the resolution I believe uh, to have it sideways so couldn't do that but um, even even file explorer I think I did manage to do that so I was messing with all the Facebook contacts earlier so let's see this okay so yeah it worked so uh, that's also one thing that um, I would definitely do on my phone. Uh, if you again, if you need any uh, assistance, uh, just let me know, and I'll I'll try to help you as much as possible. Okay, and here's my update uh, with the one month with the HT2. It's not a bad phone. It's definitely a good phone. It's definitely an amazing phone for Windows. So I. I wouldn't go buy it if you're a first time Windows Mobile user, but if you're willing to try it, it definitely is a great phone. Thanks for watching.